just like you you wear the uniform and to the right and left of you you're all equal they cut your hair you know no one's different than anyone else you're all recruits and they tear you down and they begin that tear down process and everyone breaks uh, just a matter of when whether it's the first day or 11 weeks into it some people break over just like in combat you know some people break over the craziest stuff and you know like me my my breaking point was the simplest little foot movement in a drill but I had just been uh so I don't I don't want to say tough I don't think that's a word but I had been so <laughs> tough and so driven and so focused up until that point that it, it wasn't that it was hard it was just uh probably just in the moment how tired I was whatever just frustrated um but also you know I was a squad leader and there's three squad leaders per platoon and um it's it's an amazing you know especially looking back at uh hindsight you see so much more but uh you know looking back if one of the 20 guys in my squad messed up and got destroyed you had to get destroyed with them and uh you know obviously tough lessons at the time and with that drill movement it wasn't just like okay I have to do it again the whole platoon has to do it again over and over until my dumb ass gets this little foot movement right uh but now it's like you know that that taught me forever that and now whether I'm speaking to a fortune 500 company or marine recruits you know that taught me and that showed me that you should never uh expect or demand or or uh you know make anyone around you that you are a leader to go through something that you haven't already been through yourself or that you wouldn't be willing to to go through with them i couldn't agree more yeah and and you know it's kind of like leadership 101 but uh you know with the I don't, you know, the type of world we're living in now, it's, it's, uh, it obviously doesn't hurt to get back to the basics and just, you know, don't expect something from someone if, if you're not willing to, to put the work in and, and grind as well. Yeah. People ask me a lot about <clears throat> boot camps and the best way I can describe it is very similar to what you did. It's the breaking down so you can build up because from my perspective, at least <clears throat> we live in a very me centric world. Look right. at me, look at the, you know, and then the military, that transitional phase from when you join until you hopefully leave refined and have a different headspace. It's that breaking of the sense of me being important and the sense of we becoming important. So it's very close in spelling, very different in meanings. Exactly. <laughs> but you have to, you have to reduce the human being a little bit to get them to focus more around the people to their left and right. Uh, and it's a process and a crucible. And I think the Marine Corps, like I said, it does an amazing job at doing that and it has long lasting impact for the rest of your life once you can understand that value of before i do something even in a moment i'm going to look left and right and actually make sure that the people next to me are better off than i am exactly and then i'm going to move yep it takes time yep it, and, and another thing I, I i don't know why i'm just remembering this uh, but in the marine corps uh the leaders eat last and I, I, that might be kind of a saying or the same thing throughout the rest of the military, but I don't think so. I like that concept, though. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, you know, you have a sergeant major, and you have a three week out of boot camp private. You know, that sergeant major is going to make sure that that private goes first, and that all the Marines in front of him or under him are taken care of, are fed, and doing okay before he grabs that that plate for food which might seem uh small or like a not important lesson to people but that daily reinforcement it's massive absolutely and it and then it plays itself out on the battlefield as well it does <laughs> yep for sure so yeah you made it through boot camp where did your journey take you after that oh to tropical islands and and, <laughs> and beautiful resorts 